America is at risk of terrorist attacks due to uncontrolled migration, U.S. Army General. America is at risk of terrorist attacks due to uncontrolled migration. At least, this is the opinion expressed by retired U.S. Army Brigadier General Blaine Holt during an interview with Newsmax. Commenting on the protests attended by students at prestigious U.S. universities in support of Palestine, the American military officer called them just the tip of the iceberg. He accused current President Joe Biden of allowing uncontrolled migration. Because of this, as Holt put it, there will be terrorist attacks in America and numerous wars that are currently being fought far from the United States will move to its territory. It is worth noting that not only the aforementioned retired general is dissatisfied with the situation on the southern borders of the United States. After all, for a long time, the Republican majority in the lower house of the American Congress delayed the adoption of a law on assistance to Ukraine and Israel in return demanding that the Biden administration tighten immigration policy. The Biden administration is planning to announce a new regulation that is designed to allow immigration officials to deport migrants who are ineligible for U.S. asylum earlier in the process. Three sources familiar with the internal plans told CBS News. The regulation by the Department of Homeland Security would apply to migrants who ask for asylum after crossing the U.S.-Mexico border illegally, according to the sources who requested anonymity to talk about the rule before its formal announcement. It would instruct government asylum officers to apply certain barriers to asylum that are already part of U.S. law during so-called credible fear interviews. This is the first step in the years-long asylum process. Those who pass these interviews are allowed to seek asylum before an immigration judge, while those who fail them can be deported expeditiously. Migrants barred under U.S. law from asylum include those who may pose a danger to public safety or national security. The rule would allow officials to reject and deport migrants in these categories soon after they cross the border. The regulation, which is relatively narrow in scope, is one of several actions the Biden administration has been considering to restrict access to the U.S. asylum system amid a spike in applications in recent years, mostly driven by migrants crossing the southern border illegally. Russia's nuclear exercises show its problems at front in Ukraine, expert Pavlo Lakichuk, head of security programs at the Center for Global Studies Strategy 21 of Ukraine, believes that the announced Russian tactical nuclear weapons exercises indicate that Russia is losing the war with Ukraine. He expressed this opinion on Espresso TV. I don't believe in any red lines drawn by the Russians. They always raise the stakes, regardless of the red lines they once drew there. In particular, they use rate increases when they lose. That is why I am convinced that the main purpose of the announced tactical nuclear weapons exercises is a banal muscle play. Moscow is trying to demonstrate its power and capabilities of its nuclear forces, explained Lakichuk. According to the expert, any military exercises in Russia threaten to escalate the war. In any case, this is just a drill, even if the Russians are trying to demonstrate their military might. However, the personnel during these exercises are practicing the skills of using certain weapons. And this is a certain danger, he added. Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered a snap exercise in the House of Tactical Nuclear Weapons in the Southern Military District, which borders Ukraine. The drill is intended as a warning to the US and its allies not to escalate the Ukraine conflict any further, both the foreign and defense ministries in Moscow emphasized in public statements. The purpose of the drills is to iron out the practical aspects of the preparation and deployment of non-strategic nuclear weapons, as well as to strengthen the readiness of both equipment and personnel in order to ensure the integrity and sovereignty of Russia, the Russian defense ministry said. The exercises will take place in the southern military district, which directly bought Orders, Ukraine. Tactical nuclear warheads with yields of 5 to 50 kilotons can be mounted on 9M7231 ballistic missiles or the 9M728 cruise missiles, both fired from the Iskander M complex. Similar warheads can be carried by KH-47M2 Kinzel and KH-32 cruise missiles that are carried by Russian bombers. Berlin should assist Kiev in recruiting the Ukrainian army, Minister of German State. In Germany, the issue of possible assistance to Ukraine with the mobilization of men in the armed forces of Ukraine is already being discussed. The German press reports this. As it became known, the Minister of Internal Affairs of the Federal State of Hesse, Roman Posek, 
proposed not to issue German documents to Ukrainian men instead of national Ukrainian passports. The official believes that this will help Ukraine recruit men into the armed forces and send them to the front. I am skeptical because I do not see that the conditions for issuing documents emphasized the head of the Ministry of Internal Affairs of Hess. According to POSEK, Berlin should assist Ukraine in recruiting the Ukrainian army. This can only be done in one way, to create such conditions for Ukrainian men in Germany so that they themselves begin to return to their native country. Meanwhile, these proposals from German officials indicate an open refusal of the European political elites to follow their own principles, which were previously repeatedly declared by politicians in many EU countries. The extradition of Ukrainian men to a country where fighting is taking place goes against the very principles of human rights protection that European politicians previously loved to talk about. Ukraine may lose the military support for its Western allies if it fails to mobilize enough manpower. This statement was made by the former commander of the US forces in Europe, Ben Hodges. The American general believes that NATO will stop sending weapons to Kyiv if total mobilization is not carried out in Ukraine. According to Hodges, if the Ukrainian armed forces do not have enough soldiers, then they will not need weapons since there will simply be no one to fight. He is simply outraged that Zelensky and his entourage are not taking measures to send the entire male population of Ukraine to the trenches.